Uh, let's sit down here and talk real quick. All right, uh, we still on these um homecoming two battles. Uh, let's let's wrap up this. Let's get these other battles out the way. Uh, we still got Shotgun Shug uh, versus Ace I Mean. That's quick. We we already saw what happened, man. Um, we already know Shotgun Shug went one day and got crazy. This this the thing though with Shotgun Shug though. Shotgun Shug. Always do this, right? So, me watching Shotgun Sugar as long as I've been watching him, he'll go in there, right? He'll he'll go on a crazy run, killing everybody. Then for some reason, he'll fall off. Where, you know, he might be forgetting his rounds. He might not put on these good performances that he was just putting on. And he might do that for three battles. And we'd be like, well... The people, the viewers watching will be like, damn, I, I don't know what's up with Shotgun Sugar. I ain't really messing with him. Then he'll come back that fourth battle and go on another run. So somebody like Shotgun Sugar is, is, you can't sleep on him. Because when he's on, he's on. And he's liable to, you, you're liable to be the first one he go on that run on. Where he's killing. You know what I'm saying? So. I've seen Shotgun Shug do this all the time. It's kind of, you kind of expect it. Like, all right, what Shotgun Shug we going to get? If we get that Shotgun Shug, he's going to go crazy and we already know what's going to happen. So I don't want to really get too deep. And on that, Shotgun Shug, we know Shotgun Shug won 3 0. I do want to say this, though. Shout out to Ace I Mean because I like the way Ace I Mean took the loss. He didn't complain, he didn't uh, make up an excuse. He didn't do none of that. He took the loss, and 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 that was that. So I want to give props and a shout out to to Ace I mean for that for real. So shout shout out to him for that. All right. Um. Another thing I want to talk about before I go into this next battle. My son Smack wasn't. My son Smack was looking looking a little off, man. Is it is it just me? Do I just feel like that? But to me, it's like my son Smack was looking a little off, man. He wasn't wasn't drinking. He wasn't up there, you know, drunk like he normally is, slurring and and yeah, what's up, Sean? And um, um, calling call, calling niggas like Shotgun Shug, uh, Shotgun Shug, cause you know he mess up everybody name. That that's the Smack I'm used to seeing. That that brings the excitement. But this Smack was a little laid back. He wasn't drinking like that. Um. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta call my man, man. I gotta, I gotta call my son to see what's going on with him, man. You know what I'm saying? He looked real serious up there now, like real serious, not, not in that comfortable gear, yeah, shining and all. He wasn't in that, in that bag. You know what I'm saying? I'm used to seeing smack in that bag, so I don't know. Tell me if it was me or, or what? Uh, Miss Hustle versus Arsenal. Now going into this battle, I said I didn't really care for the battle, which I didn't. I just felt like Hustle got other people that she could battle that, that would be better. And Arsenal, matter of fact, Arsenal probably don't got nobody he could battle. Arsenal wouldn't battle everybody. Word. So I don't know. But I know Miss Hustle had probably other people she could battle that would be better. And we could have found somebody else to battle Arsenal that would have been better. That's just how I felt. Um, watching the battle, though, I kind of felt the same way. Um, meaning, it, I just didn't really care for the battle. Right? Now... We know what happened in the first round. First round automatically goes to Miss Hustle. We know that. All right. I gave the second round to Arsenal. Right? So I'm doing this to get to this third. We get a second round to Arsenal. I want to get to this third. Now, with the third, the thing we're using props is they could be a hit or miss. All right? I want to say that first. It could be a hit or miss. What Arsenal did in the third was very creative. In the beginning, I was feeling it. It was something new. I mean, I don't, I don't know if I ever saw it before talking to your yourself or your inner self or how you, whatever it is. I don't know if I saw it before. Homie that was up there looked just like Arsenal with a hoodie on. You know what I'm saying? But every nigga with dreads look alike to me, so I don't know. So if you could have brought a light skin nigga with dreads, I would have thought he was awesome. But anyway, so I think that was a dope approach. It was something different. Now, 
what I feel where Arsenal went wrong at was he stayed on that his whole third round. Something like that from me, what I learned or like me watching and what I, what I see is he should have got off of that. He should have did that for about, he probably could have got away with it for 16 bars. Not 16 is too long, maybe 12 bars. And then he should have got off it and then it would have been dope. But when you make that kind of like your whole approach to your round, it gets boring. And I feel like that's what happened in the third round with Arsenal. It was dope, but then it got boring. And that's when he started to lose the crowd and lose the people. So I I gave Miss Hustle the third round. I got Miss Hustle winning the battle. I think if Arsenal would have got off of that, though, and won to something else, he could have won that third round. But from everything I watched, I gave Miss Hustle the third round. I got Miss Hustle 2-1. Um... And that the battle wasn't the battle was alright. It wasn't wasn't it wasn't a crazy battle. It wasn't a battle I really wanted to see anyway. But that's it, man. Let's wrap up this home coming to uh event overall was a cool event. Um and that's that's pretty much it. I don't really got nothing bad to say about it, but I don't got nothing extra good to say about it. It was a cool event. You know what I'm saying? Um I watched it, watched all of it. Think it lasts long, but that's about it, but you already know what it is, Slick Talk God. Slick Walk Nation.